What up, guys? Sleep in the toilet. Woo! Happy Monday to you, folks. And uh, if this is your first time coming here, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let's me know that I'm doing a good job. Let me know if I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> Whatever works for you. Don't matter to me. Anyways, I got a little video. And I know this is probably one of those things that's been talked about enough on YouTube that most likely a fella probably should just not say anything. But I had got a new tool because I had an old tool that broke. And uh, one of those deals, fellas, you finally upgrade because I think after just like 10 years or 15 years of just struggling, struggling with a crappy tool, it's just right time to get the good one. So... Without further ado, we're going to talk about this, but I picked up a new Mighty Vac MV8500. Now, what I had was the MV8000. So, this was an upgrade for sure, because the 8500 does, it sucks, and it blows. And uh, if you guys are thinking, see if you don't need to, well, maybe you learn something, maybe you won't. The reason why I got this is, is if you guys are out there race car driving, diesel driving, you got those suck bling blowers that go in with the little <laughs> zippity doodahs in them. Called the Turbski, uh, as old Cletus would say. These things can check your wastegate. We're going to spin you around here on the old <laughs> three finger holder video camera user thinger. And uh, we're going to uh, talk about this thing, get into it, show you some things about it. It's not only just a brake bleeder. But it does a lot more. Let's check her out. All right, so here we go. I'm not going to try to take a bunch of your time. It's just a quick video on this. But this is the MV8500 uh, Silverline Elite Automotive Kit. And uh, as you read right there, this is a vacuum pressure gauge. And this does so many things that I just, you know, you just never hear a lot of fellas bragging about these things. But uh, I'll tell you what, I can't go without one. And I'm going to give you a few reasons why. I see a ton of guys talk about brake bleeding on it. And they do brake bleeding and these hoses get chewed up and you got to replace those. It's got this little container that you dump out almost every 10 minutes that has this little suck and blow thing in it. And the brake bleeder uh, portion, you got these capillator things. This, they go over the top of your master cylinders. It gives a couple of those. You set on there, you put these things in here. And then you put your brake fluid, and it has different brake fluid bottle cap adapters, so you can put those on, or this one on for different ones, yada, yada, yada. And I see, I've seen a lot of stuff on that. But what I didn't see is what the actual tool uh, does best, and uh, that's uh, for EVAP, testing sensors, the suck blow, doing your uh, pressures on your turbos for doing your blow-off valves and stuff like that. If you look here, it's got a little switch on this side. And if I hold my finger over here, we'll just show you the gauge. That's a succulator right there. That's showing your inches of vacuum. Pop. And this tool has a little switch right here that switches that back and forth for vacuum, which says right there, vacuum, or to blow on it. So you can put pressure. Let's see if I can get it to go up a little bit. So it pushes out and it pushes in. It also has a relief valve right here. It's made out of aluminium, I'm guessing. I don't know the actual composite of this, but and the gauge, it's pretty sturdy. Um, it's got a spinny deal with a cotter pin in here, so so you can rotate it around. It's meant to do that, which is nice. And it comes with a whole plethora of these deals here. But for doing test uh, testing on turbos and sensors egr valves and stuff like that that's where this thing really comes in handy you got a different bunch of caps for your these are for your evap sensors and what evap tools or evap uh stuff and uh then these black ones are for your um brake bleeders and whatnot it's got these caps right here for your brake bleeders little thimble things or whatnot for doing it over the brake bleeder screws and whatnot the biggest thing is though like i said i bought this tool because um, you can put this thing on there, adapter for sucking on stuff. Um, pull vacuum on sensors. Uh, let's say you want to check an EGR valve. 
you can actually hook the hose up to this to your EGR valve. Uh, hook your hose up to one end, bada bing, bada boom, and then you can suck, put it on your EGR valve. But sensor testing, this is uh, definitely something that I, I, I feel like it's highly overlooked and something that probably a lot of guys aren't, and, and relatively inexpensive for this set. I think this set was like 69 bucks. Now, I do sell them on the tool trucks, and they're quite a bit more, but it comes in a well-packed case. Uh, this cap is dumb. It's I don't know why they put that cap in that kit. It's pretty much useless because it's a cap to go on here. I guess if you want to save it for a sample or something like that. The brake bleeder portion works good. Don't get me wrong. These are great for brake bleeders, and you can see right here, it says right on the cap, to the pump and or out. So this would be the hose that comes in from your caliper on your brake bleeder screw to the pump. And what all it would do is just suck that. You'd put it on this, the same setting that I have it on right here. And then you would suck the, the air through, pull a vacuum on the brake system with your cap on top, this thing on top with one of your plastic doodads. I don't even know what they, they're like, they, they set this on, it's a splash guard, I guess is what you would call this. But you basically set this over your master cylinder. It gives you three different sizes for your master cylinder. And then it just basically puts down, put, lets the fluid go down. It's great for doing brake bleeding. And I see all sorts of contraptions out there and guys are like, you know, I spend a dollar on a machine and whatnot. But this tool is such a multi-use functional tool for testing waste gates on turbos, especially diesel stuff like that. So you can pull vacuum on those and make sure your waste gates work in seven pounds of boost. I mean, this thing will literally go up to 30 PSI. So you can test a lot of waste gates and it pushes 30 inches of, va of vacuum. So it's great, definitely a great upgrade. I definitely look forward to helping me diagnose some tools or whatnot with this because you're going to have a whole just opens you up. I mean, the manual even states it in here. It shows you a lot of the, that's the cool thing about it is the manual gives you a lot of different exhaust right there, EGR valve. The first one I open up is EGR valve. Brake bleeding gives you all of the descriptions for brake bleeding. I can't say enough good things. You can check out purge valves on this. Uh, whoops, I don't read Spanish. I don't know what this... But you can definitely uh, do purge valves. I don't know why I'm in the... Why am I in the Spanish section? I don't even know. Motorcycle brake bleeding, definitely, for you motorcycle guys. This tool is like one of the most underrated tools that I see because it's maybe not flashy. Nobody talks about it. Thermal... Con uh, uh, thermal controlled vacuum switches. I mean, there's just a, a multitude. And I, my other one I used all the time, but it was plastic. The MB8000 is a little bit cheaper. It comes in a, and they sell them as brake bleeders, but they're really not brake bleeders. They're just great testing apparatuses for a lot of different sensors. Um, electrical vacuum solenoids, thermal controlled switching valves, um, spark delay valves. I mean, you name it, this thing literally does. You got a bunch of valves that you can do. And set, how many of you guys would sit there and suck on them until your cheeks hurt? You know, <laughs> for 69 bucks, I feel like you're definitely going overboard. So I, I don't want to keep rambling on about it. You guys tell me what you think in the comment box. If you think the Mighty Vac is a good tool, but I know it, I feel like it is, and I've never had any problems with it. The other one was just old. It was plastic. It cracked on me. And I always wanted to get one of these, but I was just too cheap to do it. Finally sprung for it since my other one broke, and uh, man, this thing's, you can just tell the weight of it, the quality of it, much better tool than what's out there. So anyways, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, hope you had a great Monday, ring that bell, remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean, thanks for watching.